Nexstar, the Windsor Battery Plant, is a joint venture between Stellantis and LG Energy Solution and is expected to have significant impact on our local economy. It will be one of the largest automotive battery plants in the world with an annual production capacity of over 45 gigawatt hours. The plant is projected to change the economic trajectory of the region, attracting new firms and creating new opportunities for established suppliers, not to mention 2,500 new jobs. Additionally, the plant will supply about a quarter of the batteries needed for Stellantis electric vehicles in North America by 2030 and is expected to have a considerable impact on the Windsor commercial real estate market. All things equal, Windsor's time has come to prosper and grow. However, there are controversies. EV production pullbacks from the large manufacturers have sent a ripple of uncertainty. Ford has postponed about $12 billion in electric vehicle investment due to slowing demand and customers' unwillingness to pay a premium for EVs. The company's EV unit, called Ford Model E, lost about 3.1 billion through the first three quarters of the year. This decision comes as Ford faces the need to balance price, margin, and EV demand. The company is not cutting back on future electric vehicle models, but it is adjusting the pace to align with the market. GM has also adjusted its EV ambitions with the slumping market. Even Tesla has put a building plant in Mexico on hold with the slowing EV sales. If the government keep pushing unrealistic goals to electrify the car, it might prove devastating to North America's auto industry. The current infrastructure is not ready even if there were enough charging stations available to make getting a recharge convenient. There are issues to solve before ICE vehicles consumers will make the switch. The current 2030 goals for EVs growing, draw on the energy grid, would break the system unless additional energy is made available. Southern Ontario has been passed by industry that would have located here, but for the reason of inadequate energy supply there is simply not enough power to support the conversion to EVs by 2030. Safety also plays a part in consumer hesitancy. Battery fires are a serious problem. Once started, they are not easy to put out. Even then, fires have reignited days or weeks later. If involved in a flood, the car is essentially too dangerous to use. The car is now trash. Trash that is difficult and dangerous to dispose of. Should you run out of power, you're stuck needing a tow truck, not a gallon of gas. It will cost hundreds of dollars to get going again. Longevity of an EV is half that of an internal combustion car. This alone increases the cost of an EV by almost 100% compared to a gas or diesel vehicle. These reasons and more not mentioned here have priced the electric vehicle out of the market. Until EV prices come down and charging gets easier, 
it'll be hard to convince mainstream buyers to take the plunge. cost to our economy could be enormous. Besides the $15 billion in grants given to Stellantis, there are other risks we should consider. The Chrysler assembly plant in Windsor employs around 4,700 auto workers. Stellantis is investing billions to convert the factory to build EVs. It will take less employees to operate an EV factory, so a substantial number of Windsor's 4,700 assembly plant workers are in jeopardy of being out of work. Stellantis currently reversed the decision to lay off 1,800 plant workers, shutting down a complete shift. They will keep building ICE cars in the plant as well as EVs for the time being. If they change it one way, they can also change it the other. Stellantis is importing 900 to 1600 Korean workers to complete the installation of equipment in the battery plant in Windsor. They will be paid with our tax dollars. Although these workers are temporary, there are questions why not draw from Canadian professionals to complete the task. The building of the Stellantis LG Energy Gigafactory is great news for Windsor and the surrounding area. If everything happens as is planned, it will spur economic growth, making life easier for Canadians. However, to see this happen, the issues troubling the EV industry must be resolved. If not, if pushing the agenda is the priority, our government is gambling with the stability of Canada's economy, big time. EVs are coming without a doubt. The question is, are EVs going to be a boom or a bust for us all? Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. I greatly appreciate it. This is Bob Jones, and I will see you in the next video.